So another workspace option in Fusion 360 is the animation workspace. And that allows us to create exploded views of component assembly such as this, or maybe short videos of it in operation. When I switch into the animation workspace, the ribbon changes again across the top. It's quite a short ribbon, but we take our normal left to right transitional journey as we start to use this workspace. And we start off by creating a new storyboard. Once we've done that, it creates this animation timeline down at the bottom. And this is where all of the transformations that you apply to individual components will get captured. Once they're in this timeline, you can actually move them around, resequence them, change the duration that it takes that transformation to happen, and gradually build up your movie of motion that you want to demonstrate through this animation. Once you're happy with all of that, you can then go ahead and publish this out as a video file format, which you can then share externally. So once you've created your storyboard, you can go to the transform menu and start transforming components. And as you do that, you'll see them appear down here in the timeline. Now, the other thing that I mentioned it could do is exploded views. And there's a few options for creating those. The first one that's always worth trying is auto explode, which is where Fusion 360 will make a good attempt at trying to create an exploded view for your complete assembly. Always worth trying this first. If this doesn't work for you, then you can always switch to the manual explode version where you can actually move things around individually yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the complete assembly and then I'm going to the transform menu and I'm going to hit auto explode all levels. And once I do that, after a couple of seconds, you'll see the assembly explodes. I can actually turn on trail line visibility so you can see where parts have come from and I can change the explosion scale using this slider. So I can make it explode further using that slider. When I'm happy with all of that, then I click on this OK button and now that's created an exploded view of that complete assembly. And you can see down in the timeline, it's actually created these transformation movements. And as I said, you can move these around so I can resequence these if I want to. I can make each one of these last a longer duration for instance and when I've done all of that once I've shuffled these things around I can actually take the timeline back to the beginning and if I now press on this play button it will actually show you the assembly exploding and you can see a couple of components there moving after the the rest so there's a lot of options that you can take when creating an animation one further one is once you've created what you need I mentioned in the drawing workspace that you can actually create a drawing from an animation. So you can actually create a 2D drawing from this exploded view, which may be useful if you're creating an instruction manual or a kit of parts manual for your complete design. So that's an indication of the sort of things that you can do in the animation workspace in Fusion 360 with a full component design.